Welcome back. It's 851. It's time to get to today's Sunday Funday moment. Valentine's Day is tomorrow and today's moment is a reminder that it's never too late to fall in love again. ABC 7's Iris Lopez shows us more with today's Sunday Funday moment sponsored by Sarah Farms. Back in 2019, I shared a Sunday Funday moment that featured Margie Cedillo ringing the cancer bell after what she hoped would be her last chemo treatment. Take a look. Now, in the past few years since I spoke with Margie, a lot has happened, both good and bad. But today, I'm going to share the good with you. It's a story that proves that love conquers all things, good and bad. The first day that I saw him, oh my God, I thought he was a handsome, the handsome man. <laughs> Margie Cedillo has known Jerry Flores for over 20 years, but every time she ran into him, he always seemed to be taken. But don't worry, Margie is a patient woman. I ran into him on Facebook and I saw that he was single. So I'm like, yes, it's my turn. <laughs> It took Margie a month to get the courage to finally message Jerry. Because I was going to have a, a birthday party for my 60th birthday. We started talking and he said yes, he would be my dancing partner. Since then, Margie and Jerry were inseparable. However, months into their new relationship, the couple would receive some heartbreaking news. So I took him to the hospital and they ran tests on him and everything and at the final test, they told us that he had a tumor in his head. While Jerry was in ICU recovering from surgery, Margie would discover that her cancer had come back. However, despite this heartbreaking news, the couple had comfort in knowing that their love story had just begun. I call it my love story because I finally found somebody that to love me and take care of me and for me to take care of him. Jerry has been working on gaining back movement in his body while staying at a rehabilitation facility. And despite their struggles, Margie is still hopeful for a future that will bring them back to their very first date. I tell him as soon as he gets better, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to dance. And Margie's advice to anyone out there who has given up on love is not to lose hope because we all have someone out there for us. And loving someone and getting that love back feels so good. I agree, Margie. Iris Lopez, ABC7.